gold work is an ancient embroidery technique which historically has associations with power and wealth but which in recent years has become more accessible to hobbyists and professional embroiderers alike maybe because of the elitism that has previously surrounded gold work there is a misconception that it's difficult to master I aim to show that while some advanced gold techniques require a relatively high level of skill and knowledge, the basic methods are not difficult to master and can be used to make attractive and unique embroideries. In this short series of video tutorials, I will demonstrate the essential techniques needed to create a simple and attractive design. If you see my prick and pounce and ring frame tutorials, you will be familiar with this flower design, which I'm going to demonstrate the techniques on, and we're going to start with felt padding. So this is the original design that I used that I made my pricking from and we're going to trace over the shape for our felt padding which is this area here. I'm going to do that on a piece of tracing paper or you can use the original design if you know you're not going to need it again. I'm going to use a permanent pen and just trace very carefully around that shape. Be as accurate as you can. There's my shape, and then just cut that shape out of the tracing paper. I'm using a pair of paper scissors, don't use your best embroidery scissors on paper. I'm going to cut that shape out carefully. You can just check that shape on your original. Then we're going to cut that out of the felt. So you can place your pattern piece onto your felt, put it on the edge so you don't waste any felt. I'm using the same pen again. I'm going to just draw carefully around that shape. Then I'm going to cut that shape out. Now I'm going to use a good pair of scissors to do that and just cut to the inside of the line just so the shape doesn't get bigger. Tidy up any edges that need tidying up. And then try that shape on your piece just to make sure that it fits. If it doesn't, you can just trim it down until it fits the design on your fabric. Place your piece of felt in position on the fabric. Thread your needle with a length of sewn cotton in the same colour as the felt, about 30 centimetres is a good length, and put a knot in the end. Start by taking your thread down onto one of the design lines so your knot is on the top. I'm just going to move the piece of felt so that I can do two small stitches inside the shape. This is just to start the thread off. And you can place your felt carefully back in position, making sure it's exactly on the lines. And then put your first stitch in. So come straight up on the outside of the felt. And go straight back down into the felt, making a stitch about 2mm long. I'm just going to jump to the other side. Because this is a small shape, I can put a few stitches in just to hold it in place. So again, up on the outside, and down into the felt. And then just a third one on this side of the shape. And these stitches will just help to hold the piece of felt in place. And you can work around the shape, placing your stitches about two millimetres apart. Again, coming up on the outside and going down into the felt.
finish off just put your last stitch over the corner like so and then put two small stitches inside the felt bring your thread back to the top after the second stitch and then you can just cut that thread off you can cut off your knot too just pull it up and snip it off and there's your piece of felt padding don't forget to look out for part two